So, here in Germany, second lockdown has begun for the month of November. I'm here based in Berlin and I gotta do something to not go crazy. <laughs> The challenge. It's a hardcore football challenge, guys. You've never seen anything like this. Every day, I've got to practice with my football for 15 minutes. <laughs> yes, I know, pretty extreme. This is lockdown time, so I'm not really supposed to be going out there to the old training facility. So, the training facility in question, the balcony. No matter how busy I am with work, with life, with anything, I've got to come out every day and do 15 minutes straight of football practice. I can hardly practice my long range shots or my dribbling in this new training facility. So instead, I'm going to be practicing freestyle football. Now, I'm no pro freestyle footballer, so don't expect any crazy tricks, but I'm curious, if I practice it every day for a week, how much better will I get? And will my undisciplined self keep up this habit every single day, not missing a single one? Let's find out. That's the end of day one, the first 15 minutes in the bag. And you can see I maybe have a little bit of a, a little bit of a glisten. So that just tells you how hard of a workout that was. No, it tells you how out of shape I am. 15 minutes a day is not a lot and just doing some or attempting some freestyle tricks and little kickabouts is not that uh, intensive, but it's more about the consistency. The question is, the challenge is, can you do something consistently for a week? And it's also an experiment to see how much I might improve. You know, if you do something consistently for even just 15 minutes a day, how much will you improve after only one week? And I'm quite curious. I think the footage will tell. Uh, let's see what, you know, kind of tricks and stuff I'm landing now. And let's see what I can accomplish by the end of the week. So that's day one done. I'm going to go rest, drink some water. day two of the football balcony challenge and it's uh, working from home today but making this time on my lunch break cut a quick quick bite to eat and now let's get out there get our 15 minutes in it is a little bit colder out there today but still nice and sunny so no excuses let's get it <laughs> Smokies, that's the end of day two. Second session in the bag. Maybe not as satisfying as the first day. I think I was a bit more excited yesterday, first day of the challenge. But good just to get out here, get a quick break from work, 
get some fresh air, get some football in. Day three. It's, uh, I'm a bit busy with work and uh, freelance work and every other project I want to get done, but you're never too busy to make 15 minutes for a kickabout, right? All right, well, let's go. <laughs> Free day free in the bag, probably the most frustrating session. I feel like we didn't land anything cool today. Uh, on the day one, we had the double round the world. Yesterday, we got the uh, inside round the world to outside round the world, or one of those two orders. And today, obviously, I was going back for that double, didn't quite stick it, and also going for that round the world on the weak foot on my left foot. Which I think we are getting closer to so I think that's the one to keep the eye on let's try and get it by end of week uh, but yeah that's another session in the bag let's hope tomorrow brings more tricks <laughs> Day four. This is the day that I've been most wanting to skip this goddamn challenge of mine. Feeling a bit lazy. Would rather focus on work, on some other stuff I need to get done. But, come on, I can't quit the challenge on day four, can I? Pretty good sesh in the end, actually. I'm glad I came out here. We got the 
double round the world again, you know, good to land that. We got a couple of round the worlds consistently, and uh, we're still chasing down that weak foot around the world, but I felt really close. From the stool, at least, I felt like it's getting a lot closer. So I think this is what it was about. I really didn't want to do this one, but I came out here feeling good, feeling energized, had my coffee, had a late afternoon coffee, and that did the trick, so. day five didn't look like it was gonna happen left at the latest as you could probably tell by how dark it was I see how the footage comes out but you know I was just so busy with work today in meetings so I tried to cut my lunch short and hope that if I can I'll sneak out I didn't think it was gonna happen it was getting dark it was a bit cold had to put my warm clothes on but uh, we did get out there in the end you know Bit of a frustrating session, I thought. Felt like I was forcing the tricks a bit too much instead of just having fun, kicking the ball around. But that's what it's all about, right? Just getting out there every day. It would have been so easy to skip today because of work and because of everything else. Five days consecutive now. Let's see how it keeps going. clean it is now day seven and that means that i missed day six that's right i missed the day five days in a row and then we go ahead and miss one on a saturday of all days as well but that's just the way it went you know didn't end up happening but i think i maybe needed that day off to rest my legs so am i a failure am i a cheat am i a liar am i a clickbaiter yes yes to all those things but nevertheless, it's day seven, and I'll tell you what, guys, to make it up to you, we're doing a double session. That's right, half an hour session, and I just got back from a two-hour hike in Friedrichshagen. So we're going to be ending with a bang, nevertheless. <laughs>
finally over. I still haven't got a haircut, but the football challenge has been completed. And we only missed one day in the end. And I don't think one day out of seven is too bad. Obviously, I'm a little annoyed not to get all seven in a row. But one day missed and then a double session to make up for it the next day is not too bad, if I say so myself. So how did I feel about the challenge? That's the big question. For me, it was... A fun challenge it did give me something to kind of look forward to and keep my mind every day that I knew I had to practice and, and make the video and you know go out there and do it so for me it was fun in that regard but what I thought was interesting was how many times I felt I came close to skipping and if it hadn't been for the video where I knew I was accountable because I wanted to make this video showing it every day I probably would have been much more likely to skip if opposed to if I just said, oh, I'm gonna try and go out there for 15 minutes every day, but who cares? Because when you're busy, when you're not feeling it, when it's a bit cold, then it's just so easy to skip. And that's what I found. I felt myself so tempted to skip on some days, even though it's such a low barrier to entry. You know, I don't have to go anywhere, and yet I still felt tempted to skip. So that just shows um, how indisciplined I am. How did my freestyle football skills improve? You can't expect a huge difference, but to be fair, I thought there was some. For instance, double around the world. I landed uh, on several of the days, whereas previously I would only land that every once in a while. The trick that uh, didn't get improved the most, uh, but we still didn't quite get it, was that weak foot around the world. Uh, I was really hoping we would get it by the end of the week, but it didn't happen, but that's okay. You know, I thought we definitely got a lot closer on it. We had some really close attempts. And then also just a little bit of improvement on my just juggling in general and trying to juggle with, uh, you know, between both feet, one, you know, with only a couple of touches in between. So overall, a little bit of improvement and we'll, and we'll, we'll take that. We'll, we'll take what we can get. So I think the big question now is, would I do this again or have I been doing this since I stopped the video. You know, Mike, are you still just going out there and, and doing 15 minutes just for yourself? And the answer is no, I haven't gone out there and done it since the video. So it sort of shows that it's tough to stay disciplined. Um, but yeah, that was the experiment. I got to have some football in and that was fine. <laughs>